Okay, guys, I think I'll start my smart home journey from here. Um, as you can see, I've been doing some shopping. I've been to none other than Lidu. And I bought loads of things. So I bought this smart gateway so I can fix all these lights and unplug smart plugs and a smart USB extension. Um, and I think they'll be useful, you know. Can put the light on in the living room and just use voice activation sometimes you don't want to stand up so i think this has been my journey i've never you don't i don't have any smart uh, light or anything in my house uh, at the moment so i'm just going to start with this so apparently that would be the gateway it uses zigbee as you can see here it requires a zigbee compatibility gateway uh, for use so separately and I think that's the gateway. So that gateway is ZB compatible. And I think, as you can see, it's Zebra Crest. So it's from Lidu. Okay, let's get on. So what I'll do is um, I'll try and unbox this and see what's in them. And then I'll connect them and let you know how they work. So that looks all right. So actually, you can put that and connect it to your light bulbs and then control it. But well, I'm excited for these ones that you can just do, you know, the single, just plug them in. And these light bulbs, I actually don't know how this works, but I'll find out. I'm wondering if they've got um, the Wi-Fi built into them so that you can speak directly to the bulb and I can just put the bulb, let's say, to any normal thing like that and still talk to it. So we'll see. All right, guys, let, let me start on unboxing them and then I'll see what's in there, all right? Let's start the unboxing. There you go, there's another bulb. I said, I don't know how that works. I'll try it out and that's your smart extension lid. Actually, I like this because of um, the USB charger. So, now that Apple doesn't include the charger anymore, you probably need to start having things like that. Okay, let's see how they work. Huh? Let's put them together and let's see how it works. Okay, that's connected up. Um, let's put that into the internet and then plug that in. So, put two lights going on. Then I'll go to the next. Okay, so you'll be able to control that. So I've got that and this works well. Um, I'm going to show you how that works. Um, Lido is doing a really good deal on this smart LED bulbs um, and they're doing well. So I just want to be able to control them with voice control. Lamy is making some noise over there. Anyway, getting back. Lamy, you're making some noise. So just coming back to this one, right? Um, I can control it my phone, you know, and all that jazz. But I just got the Google Mini Nest. Um, and it's actually a good deal. 20 quid. I think it was about 50 quid, 49 pounds when it first came out. Um, and it's down to 20 quid now. So, really good deal from Corey's. I get most of my things from Corey's actually. But yeah, pretty good deal. Um, so obviously you can talk to Spotify, YouTube and all the jazz that you can do. But that's mainly what I get it for, um, the Google Assistant. So I'm just going to plug that in and hopefully it works. And then I can just ask it to turn on and turn off the light. So one of the downfall of the smart bulbs is that um, once you have it plugged in, um, somebody's coming in, they don't have their phone, they start switching it on and off on the wall. And when that happens, then you want to, when you go into your smartphone or Google to try and switch it on and off, <laughs> in a smart way, um, it tells you it's offline. So you need a light to be on, switching it off with your smartphone or whatever on the smartphone, um, or if you're using this now with a voice command. But it must the bulb must always be supplied power, and that's how you can get it to switch on and off. If it's switched off from the mains, it will just say it's offline and you won't be able to do anything. So hopefully. When people come in, instead of them finding the switch, they can just say, okay, Google, um, turn on the light. So that's the set gen. 
second generation i understand i don't have a personal I've never had it they need um, didn't have any need for it uh, the first gen which is actually called google home mini <laughs> and the second gen is now called nest mini uh, it's actually way better than the first one but let's do the unboxing and then i'll tell you let you know how that feels like okay Okay, this is the issue. Uh, this is where Google needs to step up. Um, I use Apple, most of my things are Apple products. I was just gonna try and open this now, and I just found out that I actually need a knife. Uh, come on, Google. What about all those fancy tabs that you can just tear off and get the thing off, eh? Alright, I'll get my knife and then I'll come back. Alright, got my knife, guys, so. I've got some plastic off. Let's get the remaining. Okay, what do we get? Uh, that's the Google Mini Nest. Yeah, I went for the charcoal. Yeah, what else do you have here? Okay. Cable booklet. Uh, long cable. Whoa, hold on. Is that what? Uh, wow. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, there it is, guys. I'm a bit surprised. I thought that wouldn't be wouldn't be supplied by that, but obviously it yeah. is. And because this is UK, we have the three pin. So yeah, I hope this is this is the nest actually. So it's the nest. Um, okay, so I'm gonna plug this in and then I'll let you guys know. That's power done. Okay, um, then I'll continue. Hi. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, I have the Google Home app anyway, so I'll just go into my setting uh, and we'll get started. Well, what is 5 multiplied by 5? Five? 5 by 5 is 25. Good. Anyway, that's not what I bought it for. I bought it to be able to control my smart light. So, okay, Google. Turn on living room light. So that's it. I also have this one here. Okay, Google, turn on family room light. All right, turning the living room ceiling on. Okay, Google, turn on dining light. Got it, turning on three lights. Okay, Google, turn off dining light. Sure, turning off three lights. Turn off ceiling light. Okay, Google, turn off ceiling light. Got it, turning the living room ceiling off. Okay, Google, turn off living room light. And here you go, that's why I bought it. So, looks like it's working. That's how you can control the Lido smart bulbs, which are cheaper, by the way. Way, way cheaper than the Philips Hue lights, uh, the Philips Hue lights. Um, and you can turn them, on, or turn them on and off using the Google Nest. Uh, and I got this for £20, so I think it's a pretty good deal. So, okay, cool. That's it, guys. Like and subscribe, and I will bring some more uh, experiments or functionalities as I carry on. Thank you. Bye. Continuing in the journey of my smart home. Um, I've got this Lenovo Smart Clock Essential. So the, the Lenovo has a smart clock is basically um, your Google Mini Nest. So you, you tell it anything you tell Google Nest to do, it, it does the same thing. Uh, this is just had the benefit of having uh, a clock in front of it. <laughs> That's all. So, but you do everything. You do it as a speaker. Um, 
uh, and you do everything you do tell you to do things and it'll do it for you um so why do i need another one so you can see in the um in the beginning that i have um the google mini nest so i have the smart box from lidu also in my room um, the Google Mini Nest is downstairs and it's in the living room. So I need another one to come on or talk to in the room. So I've got this. Just, just got it now from Corey's. And basically that's what you see, you know. It's just, it's just what it is. Um, good thing also is that that's actually the same price as a Google Mini Nest. 20 pounds. So... <laughs> You're getting your Google Assistant with it, clock. So that's why I went for this. And because it's going to be in the room, I thought this would be better. Just for note, there's another Lenovo Smart Clock without the Essential. So there's a Lenovo Smart Clock. That's the same thing as this, same thing as this, but has a touch screen and it's a bit colored um, panel here. So this one is just black and white and it's not touch screen. Whereas the smart clock without the essential is colored and is also touch screen all right let's go on with the unboxing i think got the apple tab apple like tab to just take off no they don't so we'll have to use that right is guys i said it's really small guys i switch i just do a measurement for you but it is small um, and uh, there you have it it's just black I'll, I'll pat it on and then you can see but it's not touch screen um, and you can see it um, I'll probably go and compare it with the Google Nest because that's it's essentially a Google Nest with um, a cover side by side with the Google Nest as you can see a bit higher but it comes down to the size here a bit higher but if I put it on it, you can't even see it properly, but let's put that on it. There you go. Yes, as you can see guys, really small. Um, it's got the anti-slip here, so that's the anti-slip. That you can just put anywhere and it's got those buttons. So that's your alarm button, you use that to set the alarm. Uh, if you play music on it, like on the... Um, Spotify and you can do it through here as I said it's essentially just a Google Mini Nest uh, you can pause it there and that is your volume control and it has this Lenovo in like a clot like material and that's it on to sleep so it doesn't sleep from anywhere and it's got a plastic in front of it so let's just take that out then Okay. Okay, it's plastic, glossy. Let's power it on. Plugged it in, it's booting up. Let's see what happens. Okay, you got a colorful light just like Google. It's actually colored then, so you can bring out colored lights. Well, apparently Hi, you don't I'm want your me. Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To get started, please download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, as you can hear, it's actually just saying it's your Google Assistant anyway. Uh, and you just know the deal. You know, go to your home, add device. It's going to be there actually. Uh, and then there you go. Not, not, not hard to do. All right, I'm just going to pair that up. You guys know how to do that. If not, check my other video on how to pair this up. Go to Google Home and you can. For those who... Okay, that's how it sounds like. Um, it's going to be really short because I don't want it to be copyrighted or blocked or anything. Because uh, those are, that's Ye's and Jay-Z's music. Yeah, but that's how it sounds like there. Um, it's not the best, to be fair. I've got some nice speaker to listen to. Uh, but I'm going to compare it to what what um my googleness like said it's basically a google assistant anyway uh, it does everything it does you can talk to it ask it questions and then um, it does the same thing so basically the same just the added benefit that you have a clock with it so 
this stays in the living room i like it just there in the corner and that color of that that the next time is a charcoal it matches the sofa a little bit better than what it looks like in the camera uh, and this will stay in the room because then i can use that to say the time when i wake up hopefully it dims more than this because i don't like seeing any white light when i wake up in the middle of the night um, so hopefully i can do that apparently i can actually um switch off that um that lighting panel at night it's all set now guys so i can just command it now okay google switch on jack room light okay google switch off jack room light okay google switch on my room light all right turning the room on okay google switch off my room light okay turning off the room and there you have it guys you can have that one annoying thing is that i've switched that off but it looks like each time it wakes that light keeps coming on and i wouldn't want that in the middle of the night so i'm just gonna press that and switch it off and hopefully it doesn't come on but let's try it again okay google switch on my room light sure turning the room on okay google switch off my room light okay turning the room off all right it hasn't come on so that's good all right so that's the end of my smart home journey just for lights um i'm gonna start doing my um heaters uh, and maybe some of the doors i'm gonna get some um, doorbells too and then pair them all up but it's looking good um and that's not bad actually so you can talk to it from anywhere my fear when i was to get this was would it be able to is this microphone as good as the google nest but it looks all right so even from here so this is the way it's coming so it seems okay so that's why okay google what's the weather like Today, there will be rain and snow, with a forecast high of 4 and a low of 2. So yeah, so it's really good. It's loud and everything, so I'm happy with it. Um, so that's it, guys. And that is uh, my dual charger. And I've got some rooms getting set up, and I really like it. So that's really good, guys. Like and subscribe, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, I'm up. I need to go and edit this and make sure that it's good for you guys. Um, as I keep going in, I'll just put this on randomly. Well, it's not, I don't have any professional thing. I'm actually doing this on my phone, which is why the orientation keeps changing. So there you go.